No NBA on Sunday, but we had some big news in the college world. Bronny James made his USC debut against Long Beach State. Let's take a look, Bronny James making his debut. LeBron James in attendance to see his son's first game. And Bronny, he came off the bench to start the game in the USC crowd. I mean, they were electric, giving him a standing ovation. And then uh, there's LeBron with his phone. But check this out, Long Beach State with the steal. Get but it. then, bam! The athleticism. Get that it. Looks familiar, right? Yes, he's mirroring <laughs> his big father who gets big blocks all over the association. But then later, I mean, these are his first career collegiate points for Bronny. And guess who loves it? LeBron, ice in the veins. He loves it. Hey, Ziri. Bronny had four points. Hey, Ziri. Three rebounds, two assists in his first collegiate game. As USC, though, falls 84-79. Now, LeBron was obviously in the building, and he was also tweeting, can't even tell y'all how emotional today was for me. I'm literally drained. And all I can say is, at Bronny, you are simply incredible. Like father, like son, you saw that chase down block from Bronny. So, well, here's some of LeBron. Oh, oh chase down blocks. Let's start with 2000. Keep it in bounds. Keep it in bounds, though. Mo Williams blocks him. Future teammate. Coming over from the opposite side. Yep, that's He's 2006. <laughs> and then in 2009, Rajon Rondo. Nope. Oh, see, there you, now that's how you keep it in bounds. That was a rough one. To the glass. Double handed. <laughs> right in the left. Poor Not Johnny. once, but twice. That was double-handed, and of course, Game 7, oh, 2016. We all know yeah. that. Oh. That's, oh. Is that the greatest block in finals history? Uh, probably. No. I was still the Warriors sideline reporter. Oh, <laughs> he almost hit his head on the backboard. <laughs> you saw that up close and personal. Oh, Bronny's college career is just getting yep. started, but USC hits the road next, and his next three games are all available on the ESPN family of networks. Let's now welcome an NBA reporter, Dave McMenamin. Dave, you were in the Galen Center for this one. What was the atmosphere like? Because it feels like it was electric in the building. Yeah, today early tip-off on a football NFL Sunday, and you still had a packed building at the Galen Center. When I was uh, coming down Jefferson to get to the arena, I saw a block full of fans uh, turning around the block to try to get in. And, and certainly there was a huge anticipation for the moment uh, for Bronny to check in. He didn't start the game, so but as soon as he got... Andy Enfield uh, to call him up from the bench and made his way towards uh, center court. Everybody was already starting to build anticipation. There was a standing ovation when he checked into the game. There was a standing ovation when he had the chase down block. There was a standing ovation when he made that transition three. And certainly there was a tone of appreciation in the air, even though uh, the USC Trojans kicked away a game they probably should have had. They were up 17 on Long Beach State. That is true, and you mentioned appreciation also for his dad, LeBron James, who was in the building. Now, you were also working the in-season tournament, and that meant that was about, what, 15 hours from Vegas for LeBron all the way back to Los Angeles. How did he spend that time? Yeah, after the game today, after he got the medal for the inaugural in-season tournament, when he found his longtime friend Maverick Carter outside the Lakers locker room at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas, took the medal off, put it on Maverick, handed him the MVP trophy, he said, take these to the bird, meaning take them to the plane, while LeBron's Lakers teammates stayed the night and celebrated in Vegas on Saturday. LeBron was headed back to Los Angeles so he could be there with his family. LeBron was flanked by Savannah, his wife, and Zuri, his daughter, and, and uh, we also had Bronny, J uh, not, not just Bronny and the James in the building, Bryce James and Gloria, his mother. And you also had some Laker representatives. Rob Palenka was sitting courtside. You had Jesse Buss. Uh, you know, one of the, the key scouting members of their staff and, uh, you know, one of the, the governor group, he was in the building, too. So it was a family affair, not just for LeBron, but for the Lakers there to be uh, on hand for support and maybe to scout a little bit. You never know. You know, Jesse Buss and Rob Palenka, they got to see if uh, Bronny James could be a potential draft pick for this, this franchise. Yeah, you never miss a good scouting opportunity, but also with a lot of fanfare. And Dave, I hope you get some rest because that's only 15 hours for you. To now for a different perspective on the story, I've got another front office insider, Bobby Marks. Bro uh, Bronny, he will have to make a lot of decisions regarding his health and basketball career, uh, but he will be eligible for the draft after this year. So, Bobby, from the perspective of an NBA GM, can you see a team drafting Bronny to really try to lure LeBron also to their franchise? I, it's hard for me to see that, especially if it's teams picking up in the top 10. If you look at a team, for example, Charlotte, would they uh, pick Bronny James, who maybe some people project 
late first round, uh, early second round with the eighth pick in the draft just for the belief that they can get LeBron James in their building. I, teams don't operate that way. They operate how their board dictates it. Now, what will be interesting here, Cheney, is what happens maybe we get into the 20s here. Certainly teams that have multiple picks. You can look at teams like Indiana, the Knicks. Of course, we're going to be focused on what happens with that Laker first. Remember, New Orleans has the Lakers first, but can defer till 2025 here. So if that pick is at 23 or 24 and the Lakers had that, would they take Bronny James to pair up with his dad? But for, certainly for those teams up in the lottery, it's hard for me to say see a team picking him just for the lure of getting LeBron there with him. That is true. I do think LeBron does have a lot on his side. We said with the in-season tournament, we'll let the chips fall where they may, and LeBron walked out of victory. So we'll see what happens with him and his son later in the future. Thanks so much, Bobby.